Why are you not feeling fulfilled these days? I don't know what's been going on lately, but I just like don't feel fulfilled in my life. That's great awareness. However, we need to get more specific on where you're not being fulfilled. Is it not being fulfilled financially, with relationships, with work? Great question. <laughs> kind of all of the above, but I would say just probably the biggest void is not feeling fulfilled in my work, and which I get up and do every day, and it's just not serving me the way that it used to. It's not necessarily what you do, but how you do it that matters most in life. So when we can look at you know your daily activities at your job and we can link that to your highest values, your values as being a hierarchy of what's most important to least important. So when we can link your job, the activities of your daily job, to what's most important to you, you'll get re-inspired again. So I guess number one is I don't know if I've ever actually known what my values are. And number two is can your values change over time? I think that who I was 10 years ago when I started this work to who I am now is pretty different. 100% values can change. Values are really dictated by our voids. So whatever we perceive as most missing in our life, that's how we actually become fulfilled, is that we wanna fill our life up with those things that we perceive as missing. So I'm not 100% sure, like I understand what values are. Like nobody talks about this kind of stuff. Can you just give me a good example? Yeah, it's confusing because we've never learned about it. But as soon as you understand, it becomes very clear. So my top two values are choice and innovation. I value choice because when I was a kid, I felt like I didn't have much choice, that I had to do a lot of things that were kind of quote unquote pushed upon me. And from that void, now I value being in choice. So that's really interesting. So like, how does that affect you now? Like, what is that? How do you leverage that? Well, I mean, anytime that we're living congruently with our highest value, we're actually gonna be in a state of loving ourselves the most because we're serving ourselves the most. I leverage that through all aspects of my day from you know choosing how I wanna lay out time blocks on what I wanna spend time doing. Um, but I also leverage that specifically choice and the aspect of, you know, in this instance, aspect of who I do business with and how I do business with those people. So is it safe to say that if you don't have a choice about something, maybe because your wife's bossing you around, that it doesn't sit well? <laughs> it's a trigger? I feel like these questions are taking a turn <laughs> and I might not be in choice very soon. So this is just reality of our household on a day-to-day -day basis. But we are talking a lot about values because this is, like Nick said, nobody's talking about this. It's one of the major reasons why we feel lost, we feel confused, we don't feel fulfilled, and we get pissed off on a day-to-day -day basis and we feel triggered by other people. So follow us to learn more about how to live in your motherfucking values. You're crazy, but I love you. <laughs> Follow us if you want to reinvent your life with a badass business, better health, and a better mind.